Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Expert. Today we're going to talk about cash transactions in Square. All right, uh, first of all, we have a video on how to integrate with Square. If you have not integrated yet uh, on the new system, so if you have it integrated in the past, that's not the video for you. Um, and I would recommend to update it. Good, good tip, right? Um, so I've been a bookkeeper for a long time. People come up with to me uh, with all kinds of questions. Uh, and one of the popular one is those square integration. And if I have, I have several customers. If you have transactions that you record on square um, for um, a certain amount, and then when you deposit the money, it doesn't match with this transaction. That's exactly what we're going to talk about today. So without further ado, here we go. We're going to go into a PowerPoint presentation and we're going to go back and forth with QuickBooks so we can cover everything. So Square integration, how to set up the integration. We have a video about that. So I'll just keep quickly go over that. So, you know, go into the banking and transactions, select app transactions, and then log into your Square as if you're logging into um, your Square normally, all right? So it kind of works like the bank. Make sure the products are the same as it is in QuickBooks. If not, it's not. It's gonna, it's gonna give you an error. And make sure that the bank account associated with the Square uh, integration is the same. So, uh, and of course, make sure that Square fees are set up in QuickBooks, all right? So once uh, transactions are flowing, I'll show it to you. So this is how it looks. So you'd go in QuickBooks, transaction, app transaction. Okay, this is where you link the account and this is how the transactions look. So the next step is to find the transaction. So I have a transaction here for $84.28 on the app. I'm going to look, I'm going to add this transaction because I already look in banking. I saw it. I'm going in banking right now and I see the transaction here. So, and it's now a deposit because I added that transaction. First, I have to add it in the app transaction, okay? Then match it in banking, the, okay. So now, um, so we already talked about selecting the, the uh, account that the money will flow into. And if you have, if you charge taxes from your cl clients, make sure that taxes is turned on in QuickBooks. If not, it's going to give an error. The amounts will not match, okay? Um, we can manage the transactions coming from Square the same way we trans we manage the banking transaction. That means if for whatever reason there is a duplicate transaction that should not be there, you can exclude them. But keep in mind, you don't want to exclude a transaction that actually happened just if it is duplicated. <laughs> That's the only reason right? Okay, if, uh, if there is a difference, a small amount, then we have a way to fix that when you record the deposit. So when cash transactions are recorded in, um, in Square, those transactions should go onto undeposited funds. I'll show you where it is. Left-hand side, um, kind of the same. I have a video about undeposited funds, by the way. So that's the workflow of QuickBooks. So if you want to uh, find those transactions on the left hand side plus new and you are going to record those transactions those deposits so click on bank deposit transactions should all be here but I don't have anything here for you uh, this is just a sample account um, and then if the amount doesn't match this is the place where I'm, I'm going to add to this deposit so click on customer um, let's suppose that I'm actually taking money out of my patty cash. That's what happens a lot to my clients, okay? And um, I'll show you the transaction, the amount that we're talking about. So let's go here. So I find the transaction in the app, uh, in the banking uh, for $190. So that's the amount that was actually deposited in the bank. And then the transaction associated with this is only $456. $156.50. So I'm off by $33.50. So right below where it says add funds to this deposit, you want to go ahead and click. If it is if it is not petty cash, you're going to select sales and write down the difference. If it is petty cash, you know, you're going to put 
customer petty cash, which means that we're transferring money out of the petty cash into the checking and then $33.50. The total amount will have to match whatever happened in banking, which is $190. And then um, once you record that deposit, you will match it in banking, okay? So um, now on the old system, you used to have a Square bank account. Um, and then transactions and sales would flow into it and transfer into your checking and you would match as a transfer. That's not the case anymore. And this system is a lot better. So I do have a video on Square integration. If you want to update your system, make sure you um, disconnect the old, old way, which would be on the left-hand side, click on apps, look for a square, my apps, go to my apps, square, disconnect. You want to disconnect that. Okay. And then connect. Now keep in mind that you don't want to bring transactions that are already, they're already recorded in QuickBooks. You want to, um, put the date of the stop date that, when you disconnected the other system, okay, so that you're not going to have duplicated transactions. All right. Um, now, one thing that is important to mention here, when you have app integrated with QuickBooks, it is very important for you to reconcile your bank accounts. Reconciling your bank accounts is actually important no matter what. Now, if you have um, integrated apps in QuickBooks Online, it becomes a must. Well, it's a must no matter what. So um, if you don't know how to reconcile account, I have another video on that. Um, I'll put a link uh, down below, but um, make sure you do reconcile the account. Okay. So I hope this video was useful. If you like it, make sure to click on the thumbs up down below. Uh, subscribe to our channel. We like to bring um, materials like that in a constant basis. We want to help you so that you can uh, flow through your accounting without any problems uh, and focus on your business and making money. Now, if you do need help and you want to hire us, uh, I do have my contact down below. You can hire us for a Zoom meeting on a one-on-one -on -one basis where I can teach you how to, uh, how to fix the problems and maybe teach you how to maintain so that you're not going to have the problem again. So uh, contact us if you need. You can set up that time. Now, I hope this was useful again. Share this video with your friends. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And until next time, keep, keep on smiling. <laughs>